when people demand water, they get shot at and killed by the government. When people demand better living conditions, the response of the state is to kill those people. We're fighting against that. When the students demand free education, they get locked up by the regime. We're fighting against that. We're fighting for equality in our country. We do not want to replace white supremacy with black supremacy. We want to create a society where all of us exist as human beings and not as white and black. We want to restore the dignity of the African continent and position Africa as an equal partner in the world economy and international politics. We want Africa to be like Europe. We don't want Europe to treat Africa like it is its own subject. Africa's time is now. No one should continue with the exploitation of our minerals without our involvement. Not even China will be allowed to recolonize Africa. We are called economic freedom fighters because we want any foreign direct investment to come and invest in Africa through our own terms and to the benefits of the people of Africa. It might be a dream. Some might think it's not real. But we know we're going to achieve it. For because this dream is not just a dream, but a generational mission. It's a generational mission we are not prepared to sell out. We want to restore the dignity of African people. We want to ensure that African people are equal partners in trade, in politics, in every subject that the world is debating. We want to follow in the footsteps of Nelson Mandela. Because Nelson Mandela, when he left his term as a president, he said the struggle continues. He said so because he knew that political freedom without economic freedom is incomplete. People cannot eat a cross. People want to put bread on the table. So, like many African leaders, we have committed not to betray the dreams of those who came before us. Like many African leaders, we want to unite the people of Africa to have a common agenda and common purpose. We want Africa to unite and Africa to reclaim its land and its resources. The EFF speaks about expropriation of land without compensation because we know that when the land was taken in Africa was through genocide. Why would we reward genocide? We cannot reward genocide. But we want land because land guarantees us of the sovereignty of South Africa and the African continent. We cannot claim to be Africans, yet we have nothing to show as a proof that indeed we are Africans. For because we do not even have title deeds to prove that we are the owners of the land. We have nothing to show. When you go into mines, it's multinational companies. When you go into banks, it's multinational companies. When you go into monopoly industries, it's multinational companies. We cannot even own and protect our own agricultural sector with our fertile land in Africa. Because Europe and the entire developed countries use Africa and South Africa as a dumping site. Every lower grade food get to be dumped in our countries, undermining our own agriculture. When we say those things, we are called communists, we are called anarchists, we are called radicals, because we must continue to bow before 
a white supremacy. We're refusing that. We're refusing to bow before imperialism and colonialism. We want a total control of our own country and our own land.